Hello friends, welcome to the first part of uh, WLST Basics. In this series, we are going to cover about uh, the complete end-to-end -end knowledge of WLST tool, which is WebLogic scripting tool, okay, which is used for a certain kind of automations of the task in your WebLogic server with the help of scripting. Okay, but uh, before we going ahead for the complete scripting, okay, we have to understand the complete knowledge of uh, the basic commands of WLST because in the scripting, we incorporate all the basic command to execute all together as a whole script. Okay, so before going for a, uh, understanding the scripting, we have to understand the basic commands like how to, how to connect with the WLST, how to connect with the admin server, node manager, after connecting that, how we can start, stop, and check the status of uh, admin server, manage servers, and then how we can do the deployment using WLST. And then we will move toward the advanced uh, scripting options for the automation, okay? And this WLST scripting is uh, on demand by Avishay Gaur, okay? However, he demanded for some, to get a knowledge of the automation with the help of WLST. But as I said, uh, I will start with the basics and then I will go for the complete end-to-end -end, uh, scripting and automation with the help of WLST. So first basic thing is that when you talk, when we talk about the WLST, how we can run the WLST command and how we can connect with the WLST. Okay, so just like we have a different kind of a prompt in web windows and operating system, similarly for WLST, there is a different prompt when we when we say that when we are going for the execution of any command of the WLST, okay. For that, you have to initiate a, a script, which is called WLST.cmd in windows and then .sh would be on your Unix based systems, okay. And the location of that WLST script is your Oracle home and inside Oracle home, Oracle underscore common, then again common bin. Okay, so in my case, my Oracle home is C colon Oracle middleware. Okay, inside that there would be a folder Oracle underscore common. Inside that there would be another folder common and then a folder bin inside that WLST dot SH or CMD. So run this command at the prompt. Okay, and then you will be landed on a WLST prompt, which will be shared with the offline. Offline in the sense that it is an offline connection because you are not connected to your uh, running instance of WLST server as of now. So once you will collect it, connected with the help of connect command, then this prompt will get changed. So, but if it is showing as an offline, that means you are connected to WSC, but in an offline mode. <clears throat> Second is how you can connect with the admin server. So to connect with the admin server, you have a command called connect. Okay, and then in command connect, you have to specify the three parameters. One is your username. Second is your password. And third, third is your the host on which your admin server is running colon the port of your admin server so in my case the username is weblogic password is weblogic123 and it is running on local host on 47301 okay so once you will specify this command it will take some time and then it will show you the message connected and then now you will be on the server config prompt so instead of offline now you you will be on the server config prompt it is showing that you are connected with the running instance of your admin server and before server, uh, before uh, server config, it will show you the name of your domain. So in my case, the name of my domain is demo domain. So it is showing demo domain, then slash server config. And this is at the running prompt, which is connected to your admin server. Okay. Now operations using admin server. Now if you want to start your managed server, but because now you are connected to your admin server and you want to start your managed server, then you have to specify start and then bracket and then the name of your admin server in single quote. Okay. Make sure and make sure. This is uh, WLST is a uh, case sensitive, okay? So make sure to use this uh, wherever you have small letters and wherever you have capital letters accordingly. So start command is completely on the small letters and then bracket and single quote the name of your managed server, okay? Exact managed server, okay? And similarly, if you want to shut down your managed server with the help of WST, then give the command shut down and then again, same name of managed server in the same format. And if you want to connect now, disconnect from the admin server, then run this command, disconnect, and then again, it will, you will go back to the offline prompt. Now, you, how you can do the navigation? So navigation in the sense, because it is, a, uh, again, the browsing server, it is a hierarchy of different directory structures, okay, where your all the parameters, your all the configurations are saved, right? And if you wanted to view those complete hierarchies, okay, inside your WLST, okay, then when you are at the server config, uh, prompt that means when you are connected to your admin server with the correct command then similar then run the command ls and then brackets okay it will list you all the different directories and files as well so there are a lot of directories and files inside that one okay so it will list the directories as dr and the file as an r okay and because now as of now with the ls command you are only connected with the admin server 
Okay, so it will display you all the different kind of a folders that is there inside that uh, particular MB, along with the different kind of a parameters for configurations of your admin server, like the name of your admin server, the port of your admin server, the protocol that is used by admin server, and then there are some different parameters as well. <clears throat> So now you can see the different directories, some important directories it is showing as a name of a cluster, servers, file store, targets, virtual host, virtual targets, right? So that means these are the directories. You can go inside the directories and then you can see for the different kind of your uh, configurations which is reside in that particular directories. Okay, for example, if you can, if you go to uh, a folder which is named servers, okay, for that you can use the same command cd then bracket and then single quote and servers. And if you do the listing with the ls command, it will show you the all the admin server and all the managed server which is there running inside that particular domain. Okay. And for further exploring, you want to see the configurations of your that particular managed server, then you can again use a cd command and then go to your ad managed server and then again do the listing. It will show you all the configurations uh, of your managed server which is used and uh, along with all the different directories. So for example, we have a different data sources uh, targeted to this managed server. If you wanted to see the configuration of uh, all those data sources, like the name of the data source and the parameters that you have given when you configure your data source, then you can go again, go to uh, data source directory, CD, and then bracket single code data source, D capital and S capital of source, data source. And then again, you run the listing command. It will show you all the listings. So now why I'm showing this command is reason is that when we go for the scripting, okay, then uh, we use all this command in the script. For example, if I'm saying that you have to list the all the data source uh, data sources initial capacity okay whatever you have configured in your environment so for that one you will connect to your admin server with the help of connect command then you will use a cd command to go inside your uh, this particular server folder and inside that one you will fetch the parameter which is, which is with the name of initial connection or maximum connection minimum connections okay so when we are going for a scripting then we have to use the same commands in a sequencing way along with some of the more syntaxes to get the desired output. So before that, going for an automation and scripting, you have to understand the basics of all these commands. And that is the reason why I'm showing you all of these things here. And to coming back to the directory is the same that we use in the normal uh, operating system as well, cd and double dot slash, double dot slash. Okay, that means in a single code. Now, how you can connect with the node manager? Uh, to connect with the node manager, there is a command called nm connect. And inside nm connect, we have to give the username your password, your host, your node manager port, the name of your domain and the complete path of your domain along with the domain name and the type of your node manager, whether it is a SSL or a plane. If it is running on SSL, then put it as a SSL. If it is a plane, then you put it as a plane. Okay. And once you will run this command, it will take some time and it will show you that successfully connected to node manager. You will see certain warnings there because we I have configured my SSL uh, node manager with the help of SSL. But if you are going to use a plane, node manager con uh, connection, okay? Then you will not see all these warnings. You will only see that successfully connected to node manager. Now, after that, you have, you, if you want to start your uh, your ad many servers, so stop, stop your many servers, you want to check the status of many servers. So earlier command that we saw in the previous slide, that was we were, we were starting our managed servers directly with the help of admin server. So that's the reason we have connected with the connector to the admin server, then we ran the command start and shut down and status. And when we, say that we are going to uh, start our manager with the help of node manager then for that there would be a command nm start and make sure that it is a case sensitive as i said earlier as well nm is small s is capital and then tart is again small okay so nm start the name of your managed server in single code in the bracket it will take some time and your server will be started and if you want to check the status of your Manage server with the help of node manager, then the command would be nm server status and the name of your managed server. Similarly, if you wanted to stop your uh, managed server with the help of node manager, then there is a command called nm kill and then the name of your server. And similarly, as we use the disconnect command uh, for the to disconnect for the admin server, right? In the previous slide, similarly, if you want to disconnect from the node manager, the command would be nm disconnect d capital. Few more commands are there like create domain. If you wanted to create a domain with the help of your WLST, okay, without using the graphical interface, then there is a command create domain, and then there is a, a command to read the templates because we when we create a domain, we select the template, right? So to to create a domain, you need a command called read template, and then when you are going to create your domain, and uh, then you have to write a, a command with the called write domain 
Okay, similarly, if you want to read your domain, there is a command called read domain. You want to clone your domain, there's a command clone. If you want to update your domain with certain parameters or settings, then for that you have update domain. And then once all the uh, update, read, update, delete, read, write done, okay, after, after that you have to close your domain. So these are different more commands when we deal with the WLST, specifically in the scripting. Okay, and we will see all these commands along with few more commands in the next video. Stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching this video.